This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, February 27th, 2020. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Boy, I'll tell you, that story out of South County about the man that stabbed the woman in the butt with the syringe gets more and more bizarre. He did have his first day in court yesterday, and according to the police department, they did find additional video from the store, Christopher's, down there in Churchton, of him trying to do the same thing to two other women as well. Fortunately, he was not successful. When police went to arrest the suspect, they discovered another syringe in the driver's side door of his car with a liquid still inside of it, as well as several other syringes in the home. Now, the victim that did get stabbed, she is still very scared. She is on a cocktail of drugs to prevent any types of disease, and her puncture wound swelled up to about four inches in diameter the next day. According to the police report, the woman said she thought she had been burnt with a cigarette when he bumped into her, and when she confronted him, he said, yeah. It felt like a bee sting, didn't it? The suspect's lawyer did argue for house arrest so he could continue to work, but a judge said, nope, I'm concerned for public safety. He is being held without bond. He has been charged with first and second degree assault and reckless endangerment. The suspect has had several domestic violence petitions brought against him and currently is in the midst of a divorce and is being represented by County Councilman Nathan Volkey. The Anne Arundel County Police are investigating the case of child abuse, and again, this is very disturbing, where a caregiver was seen on video administering medication to a child, causing the child to sleep for extended periods. Back on January 11th, Anne Arundel County Police were called to the 8200 block of St. Francis Drive in Severn for the investigation. The mother of the child said that she suspected the nanny had been drugging her two-year-old, and upon reviewing the video from inside of the residence, she saw her administering unknown pills to the child, causing the child to sleep for several hours. She did take him to see her primary care physician, and the child has been treated. Detectives did execute a search warrant on a suspect from Sunderland, Maryland. They collected a number of pieces of evidence as well as pills, including antihistamines, and they did arrest the suspect, charging her with second-degree child abuse, reckless endangerment, and neglect of a minor. She was taken into custody on February 24th. The Anne Arundel County Police are urging anybody that may have any information or anybody that may feel they're a victim to give them a call at the child abuse line at 410-222-4733. Hey kids, listen up. If you are in college, I may have a great opportunity for you. Baltimore Washington International Airport is accepting applications for their 2020 paid summer internship program for college students. It's a 10-week program that runs from June 3rd to August 12th. It's going to have on-the-job experience, leadership, development, and networking skills. There are 10 positions available. And to qualify, you need to be currently enrolled in an undergraduate degree program. Have a grade point average of 2.5 or higher. Be able to complete and pass all the pre-employment screenings. And if you are hired, you'll be making a cool $19.32 an hour. Not too bad. The application process is only open until March 3rd. You can find out more information at bwiairport.com slash jobs slash internships. Go get it. And finally, in the year of the woman, Sophie Lekas, a first-class midshipman, is on the cusp of being the first female ever to win the Tony Rubino four-time brigade champion award. And she is the only the second female to have been eligible for this. We're talking about the Naval Academy's 79th Annual Brigade Boxing Championships, which are going to be held this Friday the 28th at 7 p.m. in Alumni Hall. Admission is free, and if you've never been to this, I do suggest you go see it. It's pretty amazing to watch these midshipmen slug it out. Now, all midshipmen at the Naval Academy are required to participate in boxing while they're there, and the Brigade Boxing Championship showcases the most elite midshipmen boxers, each performing in three-round matches within their weight class. The boxing program did start at the Naval Academy back in 1865. The Brigade Boxing Championship was organized a little bit later. One of the best bouts they've ever had was in 1967 when future Future Secretary of the Navy James Webb and future Marine Corps Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North slugged it out. If you ever saw that horrible movie called Annapolis that was filmed up in Philadelphia because Maryland didn't want to give them the tax breaks back in 2006, that was what this was all about. In addition to Lekas, another midshipman is eligible for the Tony Rubino four-time brigade champion award, and that would be midshipman first class Jake Clary. 
Now, if Lekas wins her fight, she will join an elite group of just 20 people that have received that award since 1970, and it will make her the first female to win the award in Navy boxing history. So I say, let's go, Sophie. More information? usnaboxing.com. Otherwise, I will see you there on Friday night. I wouldn't miss it for the world. All right, that does wrap it up. It is Thursday. We have Trevor standing by with your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minutes. And as we have every day, we have George Young with your local DMV weather forecast. He is standing by. All of that coming up in just one minute. Here's to the teacher who spends her weekend helping children who need a little extra attention. To the soldier who missed the birth of his baby while serving overseas. To the EMT working full-time and taking night classes. To the police officers and firefighters working long hours away from their families to keep our families safe. Here's to you, our hometown heroes. I'm Alan Hyatt, chairman and president of Severn Bank, and we know there are many heroes among us. Men and women who serve without expecting anything in return which is why we're honored to offer our Hometown Heroes program to educators, law enforcement officers, firefighters, first responders, healthcare workers, and military personnel. Whether you're opening a checking account or buying a new home, we're here to give back to you. Learn more about our Hometown Heroes program at SeverinBank.com. Severn Bank, here with you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, February 27th. Yesterday was another cloudy, drizzly, gray, wet mess across the Annapolis region. But those days are behind us and the sunshine will be back today through the weekend. Though it will be a bit colder with highs likely only in the 40s each day. Maybe only upper 30s on Saturday, and it will feel even chillier today and Friday as winds gust to near 40 miles per hour at times today and remain breezy into part of the day on Friday before skies calm and cool for the weekend. But don't worry, temps will warm into the 50s on Monday before more rain and even warmer temps in the 60s return Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, but one day at a time in this ongoing winter of no winter, so stay warm out there today and be safe on the roads with those gusty winds. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great day out there and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching the Apple or Google App Stores for DCMDVA Weather and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on our website at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather informed. Please join Anne Arundel Medical Center Foundation and presenting sponsor First National Bank Saturday, April 25th in Annapolis at the AAMC Foundation's Denim and Diamonds Bash. The 2020 Denim and Diamonds Bash is an important opportunity to provide critical funding for vital health services, including adult and pediatric mental health and substance abuse, evaluation, care, and navigation. Denim and Diamonds is a wonderful evening under the stars, featuring fabulous cuisine, gourmet food trucks, silent auction, and dancing to the Reagan years, all to support expanding mental health and addiction care in our community. Tickets are on sale. To purchase tickets before they sell out, please visit aamcdenimanddiamonds.org. Special thanks to our platinum sponsors, Anne Arundel Dermatology, AAMC Medical Staff, Buck Distributing Company, Comcast, Event EQ, Main and Market, What's Up Media, and WRNR. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Makers Minute, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Tonight in Crofton, meet the maker. Featuring some of the wonderful local artists that are part of the Sweet Home Salvage family, this first night of the series, you'll be meeting Ross Swope. Saturday, check out the Severna Park STEM Festival. Energize your children's connections with science at the first Severna Park STEM Festival. Check out interactive stations such as All Things Gooey, On the Go, as well as Land and Water. On Tuesday at the Green Turtle in Annapolis, they're doing a paint night. The original paint and sip party. Enjoy drinks and music and a whole lot of color. Tomorrow at Art Things, check out their adult figure drawing class. Enjoy a relaxing evening while drawing the human figure. This session will go through several 60-second poses, 5-minute poses, then multiple longer poses. At Wine and Design on West Street, on Saturday they're doing another chunky blanket workshop. 
Learn how to make your own chunky blanket, approximately 40 inches by 50 inches, with an option to buy additional yarn to make a larger blanket. Wine and beer are available for purchase at the shop, and also check out on Tuesday, they're doing a do-it-yourself wood pallet stencil workshop. Choose from a variety of stencil designs to create your own personalized wood project. Some seasonal favorites include a Kiss Me I'm Irish design, as well as an Irish blessing. At Maggiano's Little Italy, on Tuesday, they're doing a paint and sip night as well. Join Maggiano's for their Italian-themed paint night, sponsored by the Annapolis Sons and Daughters of Italy. Sip on some wine and enjoy Maggiano's signature appetizers as you're guided through an Italian-themed painting step-by-step. Step. At Local by Design Annapolis Mall on Sunday, they're doing a coordinate sign workshop. Make wood plank signs with latitude and longitude coordinates on them. At Unallocated Space in Severn, tonight for their InfoSec night, they're doing Make Your Own and Defend Against Deep Fake Videos and Images. Tomorrow is their DEF CON group, DC443 Hacker Hangout. This group is an evolution of the OSCP study group. Their goal is to learn hands-on techniques to strengthen their cybersecurity skills. On Saturday, Unallocated is having another epic LAN party. Bring and enjoy snacks, lots of video gaming, and general fun times. And Monday is Unallocated's Project Night, and Wednesday is their weekly open house night. And finally, at Annapolis Makerspace this week, tomorrow we're doing another laser training and refresher class for anyone interested in laser cutters and engravers, particularly our members that need training on our laser cutter. Tuesday is our monthly Fusion 360 3D design workshop, and as always, Wednesday is our woodworking open night, and Thursday is our electronics open night. And you can catch me tonight and every Thursday night at Annapolis Makerspace on Renard Court for Electronics Night, and you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website at makeanapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Have you ever been to the Annapolis Mall when it opens for the day? Maybe you've noticed the line of folks waiting to get into the Apple Store. As you may know, I'm a Mac user, and today's episode of the Daily News Brief, in fact, all of the episodes of the Daily News Brief, have been produced right here on my Mac computer. What you might not know about is MacMedics. They were founded here in Annapolis in 1989, and they are an Apple-authorized premium service provider, the only one in the Baltimore, Annapolis, D.C. area. And what that means to you is that they repair all Apple devices, including the iPhone screens and batteries, all without an appointment. And most repairs are done the same day, usually within two hours. They also sell everything except the iPhone and the watch for the same price as Apple. I don't know why you would go anywhere else. Give them a call at 410-757-MACS, or if you're not into the whole letter thing, 410-757-6227. Stop by their retail store in Severna Park on Benfield Road, or their service center in Lanham, right off of Route 50. Or you can always check them out online at macmedics.com. I'll tell you, they've saved me quite a few times, and I know they can save you. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.